Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. You guys are used to seeing me use some of the better stuff that Orvis has to offer. So what I thought I'd do this week is I'm gonna grab the cheapest rod and reel and line combo. So I'm gonna take this out today and this is all I'm gonna use and give it a good going over and just see what it's all about. So this goes for $398 in New Zealand and $198 in the states that's pretty good value for a rod a reel a line backing all set up ready to go you literally take it out the box put it together and you go fishing i'm going to grab this get changed chuck everything in the truck go grab my buddy jeff and we're going to go for a fish and just put it through his paces let's go okay guys so i'm going to run you through well we'll, we'll, we'll get the rod out we'll get the reel out we'll have a look at it and we'll just kind of see what what we've got and then how i'm going to set things up and why and all that kind of good stuff. So basically what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna try and just use as minimal stuff as I possibly can. So I'm not gonna to add too much other stuff that you may have to go out and buy and we'll just see what we can get done with the minimal amount of gear and equipment and flies and just try and keep it as cheap as possible. Just as, I guess, an example of what you can get away with. Okay, so we've got our We've got our rod here, which I've just dragged out of the box out of the truck here. And let's have a bit of a cheeky look. So on the on the end here, it tells you, you know, what it is. You've got your encounter, nine foot six weight. So we'll just pull these guys out. And this is what you'll find inside. You'll find those four pieces. And as you can see on here, it tells you what rod it is, what kind of rod it's an encounter. It's a six weight. It's got the weight of the rod on it, but I mean, I never take any notice of that, to be honest with you. And we've got the reel. So this is the reel exactly as it comes out the box. Our encounter reel. This is our line. It's got a rubber band on there too. I don't know if you can see, just to keep everything in place. And then to take this on and off, you see this little, uh, this little clip here. If you push that in, we can pull the spool off. You can change spools out. You can get spare spools with different lines on, that kind of stuff. It's very easy to just pop on and off and just clips back into place. This little, uh, this little guy on the back here, this is your drag knob. Increase the resistance of the drag as and when you need to. Sweet, so there we have it. That's a rod and a reel set up. So the way this comes by the looks of it, actually comes with a leader on it, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like a tapered leader of some description. So this is a floating line. This would be a six weight floating line. And we're, so we've got about a nine foot tapered leader on there. So I'll probably change the leader and I'll talk about why in a second. And we'll just strip off some line and we'll thread these guys up. So what I tend to do is I take my fly line like this and I just bend that over. It makes it easier to thread those through the guides. I'm just gonna push this all the way up through those guides okay so we've got that all threaded up it's through there good to go now what i'm going to do is because we're going to be nymphing today i want my flies to sink nice and quickly i'm actually going to just go down and take the tapered leader off and i'm going to build my own straight through leader excess leader here i'm going to just take that and put that in my trash dash because i don't need that today okay so i'm going to take about 18 inches or so of one x now this is the Scientific Angler's Absolute Supreme Tippet, but you don't have to buy this expensive stuff to get going. Just just go into the local tackle shop, pop into the tackle rod and tackle, whatever your local shop is. Speak to them. I'm pretty sure they'll be happy to help you out with some, uh, some tippet that fits your budget. Now you don't even have to do that step down bit, which I just quite like to. What we're going to go to, the important stuff here, is this 3X, which is about eight pounds. I'm going to use a blood knot to tie these two together, but really whatever, whatever knot you have confidence in. Again, the knots I use, I'm going to link up here. You check those out if you're interested. But whatever knot you are comfortable with, I say just learn learn a few good knots and stick with those, and just get good at tying them. So the reason I've taken off that tapered leader and I'm building my own straight through leader is because I'm going to be mainly nymphing today and I want those flies to get to the bottom really, really quickly. Um, and I'm going to achieve that better by building straight through leader of thin diameter tippet. I'm going to go about a rod length of 3x and because it's quite low and clear, I'm going to stop that there and I'm going to drop down to 4x. I'm going to put about 3 feet of 4x on there. So it'll be about a 12 foot leader overall to my first fly. Just because that water's a little bit lower and a little bit clearer today. I'm going to go a little bit more stealthy. And again, I'm going to use that blood knot 
put those two together. Take ends and hit back. Okay, so there's my forex. That's going to go to my first fly, which I think I'll just go for like a size size 10 101. It's a 3.8 tungsten bead, and we'll start with that. I'm going to use a double Davy knot to tie this to my forex. Again, watch that video on knots if you want to know how to tie a double Davy knot. It's a brilliant knot. I'm going to crush my barb down. And then we're going to go forex again off of that. Take ends in the hip back. And I'm going to go, I don't know, about 18 inches maybe. And on there, I'm going to put a little kind of I'll put a little egg on. It's kind of still that time of year. Then we'll just add an indicator and we're ready to go. Cool, 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 cool. Nice job. All right, so we're good to go. So we've got a rod, we've got a reel, we've got a fly line, which is a floating fly line. Then we've got about a foot of that 1x. And then we've got about the rest of the rod length of the 3x down to about two and a half foot of 4x, which is down to our first fly. Call that our dropper which is the 101, the stonefly, and then off of there we've got about 18 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches to our egg, and then we have our adjustable indicator here, which we can slide up and down, change our depth as we need to. All right, so we'll get ourselves sorted out, we'll jump in the river and see how this guy goes, eh? All right, here we go. So I'm gonna start maybe, I don't know, five feet deep or so, and we'll just see how See how things go, see if I'm getting down. You go from here, really. And I'm gonna fish my way up this run behind Jeff. Mm -hmm. All right, straight away, I'm thinking I'm gonna need some more weight on there. It's all right. First impressions are pretty good. Now do the job. Oh, that's a fish! Yeah, yeah. Oh, dirty egg. That's a solid drag. That works. Here we go. And away we go. Out of here. So that's first fish for the encounter. Um, yeah, straight away it was nice to load, easy to use, plenty of power fighting that fish. The drag on the reel is solid, real seems smooth, seems solid. So initial impressions are pretty good to be honest. Let's uh, just get back to it and see if we can find another one. Line seems good and floaty. There's another fish. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Limp thing's just so damn effective, isn't it? All right. Yeah, this is a better fish. Nice jack. Real nice, Jack. Nice, man. What a cool fish. Look at that. Awesome. All right, Bo, let's get you out of here. All right, and this is the egg that's done the damage so far. Like a pale, kind of, just a more natural looking orange egg, just because it's a bit lower and a bit clearer. I thought that might be a good thing to do. Adding that bit of split shot there for a, a bit of extra weight was a good idea. Mm. And I'm fishing maybe five, six feet deep, maybe. As we go up the run and we get into that faster, deeper stuff at the top. Oh, there's another fish, that's ridiculous. I might need to add more weight, is what I was going to say. He's all wrapped up. 
Yep, that's not right. He got himself all wrapped up in the line there, I think. Oh no, we're good. Oh, Emra gone. <laughs> For those new uh, enduro ones. White ones? Yeah. Yeah, and if it's not freezing cold, they get hot. Yo, oh. That's the one. I'll, uh, I'll come and land that for you. Quite fresh fish first time of year. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Nice. Oh, yeah. Brother out. And we're probably really okay. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is how you unhook a fish. <laughs> Girl's gorgeous color. Yeah, she's beautiful. Nice work, mate. All right. Just gonna put a couple through here while Jeff swings down below me. Got one. Yep. And gone. There's one. Nice. Not a bad fish actually. Just trying to keep it down here. There we go. That's the guy. That's a nice fish. Good colours. It is a good fish. Better than I thought. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was good. All right, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. You needed me. <laughs> Slinky. Nice one, buddy. Bit of messing around to be fair. Yeah. Nice. No, took a bit of searching, but we got him. <laughs> What's that other side? Come on. <laughs> Cheers, brother. You done? Thanks, man. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to just putting a woolly bugger on and see if I can swing up something just to see how this line goes and just just to kind of show that you can just do pretty much everything with this rod well you don't really need any specialist equipment to change the way you fish so i'm just going to uh i'm going to take this nymphy stuff off and i'm going to put it on this lovely organized rig keeper for later what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my indicator off and you remember this morning i added some 4x to the end of my like rod length of 3x well, I'm going to take that 4x off and then tie my woolly bugger straight to that. So I'll have like a rod length of leader with a woolly bugger with a tungsten bead. And then um, 
Oh, I shouldn't. Don't use your teeth. Damn it. That's just laziness doing right there. That's lazy. And then, ha ha ha. I'm just going to put this little guy on here. It's got a little tungsten bead in it. It's pretty low and clear, so I shouldn't have to add any more weight, I don't think. And then I'm going to use a lefties loop, flip that off, and we're ready to swing. Let's see how we go. I'm going to fish down behind Jeff, I think, and see, uh, see if I can pick up what he does and catch. Under control at any point. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a super cool aggressive take. One quick one with the Alright buddy, and away you go. Thanks for the ride, Charlie. Thanks for that man. Nice, that was a cool eat. Alright, so that was that was cool. I'm really glad. I got that fish because I missed, lost that other one, missed another one. Um, and that was just on a brown woolly bugger. Actually a fly that I still have from the last time we fished together, which was like three years ago now. Now a better way to do that would be to add a eight foot sonar sink tip leader. I could loop to loop that to the end of my fly line. That would help me get the flies down a little bit. But I wanted to do today just with minimal cost, just so you feel like you don't have to go out and buy all these extra things to be able to fish these different ways. So really all we did was just take the nymphs off, the indicator off, shorten up the leader a bit and put on a woolly bugger and a bit of split shot and you can get it done. Nice mate. Is that an olive fly I see? Sorry, Nice job, man. Nice one. All right, ready? Oh, nice fish too. Oh! <laughs> Double trouble. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Oh, two good fish too. All right, let's get back. You can talk about what just happened. Yeah.
So Jeff got his fish from the water I'd already fished. Um, there's a good chance he was doing that because his setup is actually, you know, it's, it's just made to fish those flies better than what I'm doing here. But again, like I said earlier, I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you guys that this, you know, this, you can fish a lot of different ways with a very cheap piece of equipment. I mean, this combo is cheap. What you get for it is brilliant, you know, and it just goes to show that, you know, you can go out with cheap gear and you can catch fish just as easily as you can with expensive gear. And I guess that's what this video is all about, really. It's just showing that you don't need to spend a heap of money. And if you're just getting into the sport, you shouldn't be spending a heap of money on gear because there's no point is what I'm trying to say. You're better off going in, you can buy cheap gear and then spend your time on the water upskilling, you know, getting your head around what it is you're trying to do, you know, and then down the track, you can then drop some money on some gear. Once you know what you like, you've got some skills under your belt and um, you know a bit more. All right, let's just tidy this lot up and crack on. Stop doing that, keep using my teeth. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yo, okay, it was a really cool day. I really enjoyed it. Um, actually, after I stopped recording, some really crazy stuff happened double hookups and chaos and carnage and some really good fish. But I ran out of GoPro battery, and that's just how it goes. But a really fun day, caught a lot of fish. It gave me a good chance to put this rod and the reel and the line through its paces and give me a good idea of really what it's all about. So just real quickly before I tell you how you can win this combo, I just thought I'd run you through my thoughts of just what I think of it because I haven't fished with this before. It was actually really interesting for me to just kind of have a go with the with the lower end gear from all this. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go on too much about this, but as far as the rod goes, there's a five weight and there's a six weight uh, combo available from Killwell and Talpo Rod and Tackle. I went for the six weight one just because well, I don't know why really, just because it's a, a pretty good all round rod weight to go for. You can do your winter stuff, you can do your summer stuff, you can do your dry fly stuff, you can do your nymphing stuff. It'll handle heavy rigs, it'll handle streamers, you can fish river mouths, you know, it's a great all round kind of rod weight to go for. It's a nice blank, the cork's great, the reel seat looks good, it's nicely finished, it's the entry level gear, so I, I really wasn't expecting that much from it. and. 
I was actually pleasantly surprised just how well it fished and how nice it was to use. And even from just overhead casting to roll casting to water loading to even there, I was just uh, I was doing a little snap C and a spay cast just to fish the woolly bugger, and and it dealt with it really well. So I was actually pretty impressed. Moving on really quickly to the reel. Obviously, we're dealing with the cheaper end of the scale here with gear, but I mean for the money, this this reel was. It was great, it, it looks really good. The drag was really good. As well as being super strong, it engaged really smoothly. So when a fish did pick up line and run, it, it just, it kicked in nice and smoothly and it wasn't like duh, 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 which is, you know, it's a bad thing with drag. So I was impressed with that. It is a sealed drag system and all that kind of stuff, which is super important here in New Zealand for sure with all the pumice we have. You know, you can take the spool off super easily click it back on so I mean it's it's everything you need and want from a reel and the line that's on here I, I actually don't know what line this is it's just, it's just a, a generic Orvis line that's with this combo but I mean it loaded that rod well it dealt with heavy flies indicators long leaders split shot woolly buggers I was able to water load it I was able to mend it really well I was able to roll cast it it did everything you need a line to do if you're just getting into things don't worry about dropping a heap of money on gear you really don't have to you can get a combo like this and it will do everything you need it to so really all I used extra was just some extra tippet to build that straight through leader for nymphing I bought some split shop and then some flies oh and some indicator material I guess but really you know, as far as just your basic tackle goes, it was a pretty cheap setup to get yourself into the sport and see if you like it. And then from there, like I said, if you stick with it and you enjoy it down the road, that's when you can start thinking about spending a bit more money on gear. So Killwell Sports gave me this rod to kind of have a go with and test out and make a video. So what they said to do is rather than give it back to them, I can just give it away to one of you guys. So I think what we're gonna do it's just do a real simple giveaway. So all you have to do to win that combo that I used today is go over to Instagram, make sure you're following Killwell Sports, Orvis Fly Fishing, and Scientific Anglers, and then just drop in the comment section below this video, done. And then next week, I'll just do a random draw, and whoever it picks, I'll box it up and I'll send it straight to you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Something a little bit different again, like I say, we're probably gonna be into the backcountry stuff next week. So fingers crossed that this rain stops and we can get out there and do that. Have yourselves a great weekend, everyone. Get out for a fish if you can. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.